what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house man we are back with some more sopranos 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 man this series has grabbed me it has grabbed me i am very much interested i'm um, curious to know um just mentioned something to my brother my brother i didn't know that my brother actually watched this series before um thank god he didn't spoil anything for me but he did tell me to enjoy the ride so um because that's one of the things that we discuss all the time you know it's just movies and tv shows and old stuff that we watched in the past that we never really had access to back in the day when we were back home and stuff like that and when all we could watch was like old movies on vhs and stuff like that and the new stuff that was coming out we weren't able to see you know what i'm saying so we were exposed to a lot of that stuff be able to see stuff when they just drop in movie theaters and stuff like that that wasn't something that we had access to until way later like i would say that was just coming in like we had our first movie theater in jamaica and we had to travel miles to go there i actually never went to the theater there before i came you know to to the u.s never actually went there but it was just coming into like the country like where when movies drop they could see it like when they drop you know what i'm saying when they decide to drop you know what i'm saying maybe not even the same day but like a week later or something like that but um for the most part man it is such a joy you know to have those kind of discussions sometimes because it's just that feeling of nostalgia comes back right so we are here once again man the sopranos i am ready to jump in remembering these names of course it's gonna take a while before i learn all of these names of course um in the last episode the reins is handed over to to the uncle uncle junior as um tony calls him um uncle junior got to be the king you know what i'm saying i thought that tony was going to take the reins because all the captains wanted him to take over because he's the best man for the job now he decided to give um uncle junior the reins because that's the only way he probably could get him to back off of all of this foolishness that he's been doing and making it seem like you know so i don't know how the uncle is going to go about doing this if he's going to be too bullheaded or whatever the situation is because the, the understanding between tony and the captains is that i'm still tony is the one that's still going to be running things but the uncle is just he's the top he's the face you get what i'm saying so if she goes down the uncle is, <laughs> is going to be the one in the limelight so that they can take um he can take the heat you know what i'm saying go ye old you know what i mean um i don't think he's gonna end up in prison or anything but um at least they kind of take the eyes off of them because they don't really know who's the top dog if if the fbi if the fbi is watching they're looking for the top dog they're not really looking for the middleman they want to take down everybody but for the most part they want the biggest fish the guy that's running the organization so um we know that dudes are getting killed out here you know uh, um christopher's friend the one that was giving all the trouble he got shot he got taken down it is what it is you play with fire you get burned you know what i'm saying um i actually thought that tony was gonna take him out essentially um junior uncle junior decided to take him out so that's why it's like tony's like yo you're too messy man like because of the old school and the times that he came from where dudes were just getting whacked all over the place with no kind of preparation or whatever it was just like we could do whatever we want kind of on some some crazy stuff like that right so tony is trying to kind of tone all of that down kind of like yeah you can beat up a dude you can break his knees you can do all of this other stuff but they try to find other alternatives to not whack people and that's fine with me we'll see if the show gets more violent in the upcoming episodes we'll definitely get to see that but for the most part um hoping that things um continue here to be great for the show so episode five 
of season one of the sopranos if you have not subscribed to the backup channel yet, make sure you get that done turn notifications on as well make sure you do that all right and if you want to watch the rest of these episodes by the time you guys are seeing this episode on youtube the members of the channel tier two and above will have already seen the entire season of the entire first season of the sopranos so make sure if you want to support the channel if you want to see what my reaction is to those early without waiting you can always go over there and sign up it's only a dollar 99 a month us that is um so if you want to see if you enjoy this series you want to see what my reaction is make sure you go check that out make sure you help support your boy membership has been growing on the channel um in recent recently i don't know I mean, by the end of this month there's going to be a lot of drop off but it is what it is i think this is the first time we ever hit 30 members concurrently so i'm happy about that because at least i know you guys are interested in seeing content early so i'm gonna try to start putting exclusive stuff on membership as well that is not premiered on the channel maybe release later some stuff that i can have vaulted that's just for members so i don't know what it is yet i might put out a poll for the membership to vote on on stuff that they want to see me react to just for membership um, because they can request that okay so we'll jump into it and I will see you guys at the end for the review of episode 5 let's go Just out of nowhere. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Organized crime. That's total crap. Who told you that? Dad, I've lived in the house all my life. I've seen police come with warrants. I've seen you going out at 3 in the morning. So you never seen Doc Cusimano go out at 3 in the morning on a call? Did the Cusimano kids ever find $50,000 in Krugerrands and a 45 automatic while they were hunting for Easter eggs? I'm in a waste management business. Everybody immediately assumes you're mobbed up. It's a stereotype. And it's offensive. <laughs> You're the person I would want to perpetuate. Fine. There is no mafia. <laughs> Give her a bone. Look, Med, you're a grown woman. Almost. Some of my money comes from illegal gambling and, and, and whatnot. <laughs> How does that make you feel? At least you don't keep denying it like mom. Kids in school think it's actually kind of neat. You've seen The Godfather, right? Not really. Casino we like. Sharon Stone, Japanese clothes, pills. I'm not asking about those bums. I'm asking <laughs> about you. Sometimes I wish you were like other dads. Then, like, Mr. Scangarella, for example. An advertising executive for big tobacco. Or lawyers. Ugh, so many dads are full of shit. And I'm not. You finally told the truth about this? Not really. <laughs> Part of my income comes from legitimate businesses. You know, stock market, I... Look, Dad, please, okay? Don't start mealy-mouthing. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'll call you back for the motel. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> See somebody? No. Hey, this gets us to our Colby anyhow. Dad, it's our motel. Hello, our motel's right there. 
I'm not sure, but I think I just saw Fabian Petrullio. Refresh my memory. What's he before your time? Made guy. He fucked about 10 years ago and he got busted for peddling age. That fuck took out a lot of people. A lot of people from our outfit. Ah. The man was sick. He never recovered when he heard the news. Main here, you saw this guy? That's what I'm saying. I think I did, but I'm not sure. Up in Maine? What the fuck? He went into the witness protection program, then they kicked him out. Now he goes to colleges and gets paid all kinds of money to talk about what a big bad mafioso he was. Piece of shit. Fabi and me partied a couple of times, but Jackie and Prilly knew him real good. They did a couple of counts together up in Lotusburg. Matter of fact, you know that bus that was in his rec room with Sinatra? Fabi made it for him in a prison workshop. That was Frank, that bus? I always thought it was Shaquille. Fucking need to practice a little on lips. Yeah, I know. Anyway, run these plates for me. Go ahead. Man. DX6692, I'll call you back tonight at 10. Hey, what's wrong with the phone in your room? Nothing. So, taking a walk, sort of phone. Figured I'd give Christopher a call. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, they got a leak <laughs> in the roof, though. Is that all right? Uh-huh. Huh? <laughs> good, good, yeah. good. If you oh, thought... So anyway, Jean she... Cosimano said you were real. Yeah, I was. The, the flu that was going around? Yipes. Yeah, I still have a little fever, but... Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I also have a confession to make, Carl. <coughs> I, I have a Jones for your baked ziti. Oh, <laughs> sure, anytime. I have some in the freezer right now. I can reheat it. it. It's so much better that way, isn't it? The mozzarella gets all nice and chewy. I like that, too. Yeah. I was having a little frenet. Settles the system. Would you like something? Uh, some wine, if it's open. Mm -hmm. So, how's Med and Tony's trip going? Oh, I should know. He doesn't have time to talk to me for two lousy minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i know i know y'all are looking at me like why am i looking at him like that when he knows that tony cheats right so he shouldn't have a problem with her cheating my problem with this whole entire situation is that it is not a secret that tony cheats you get what i'm trying to say and this is the problem that goes around with a lot of modern women today where women they do these things i don't know how this is going to end but i mean either way they're both still in the rom but it's the thing about it is that tony's ish like the women he's with outside of his marriage is not a secret to carmella like she knows about it she actively wants him to change this about himself but she just accepted that you get what I'm saying? Like she doesn't want it. She doesn't want him to do it. But at the same time, he, I, if Tony knows about it, it's it's just, it's so different. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so different. I know a lot of people don't agree with it. And, and I talked about this. I think in an earlier episode I was talking about where it's like you have to understand that men just view sex a little bit different. Not even a little bit. A lot different than how women... Women... It just takes so much more. It just... It's not just sex to them. It's... It's just... It's just different, man. Like, I just... Stuff we talked about before. How's that sitting with you? Not like I wasn't 90% sure already. What about your brother? Does he know? I think so. So there was a time, Ed, when the Italian people didn't have a lot of options. You mean like Mario Cuomo? Sorry. You know, I put food on the table. My father was in it. My uncle was in it. Maybe I was too lazy to think for myself. I considered myself a rebel. Maybe being a rebel in my family would have been selling patio furniture at Loon 22. College, nothing interested you? Nah, I barely got in. 
No. Kind of like history. Yeah? Yeah. Napoleon, the Roman Empire, the Potsdam Conference, that kind of thing. What's the Potsdam Conference? Potsdam is the I know now. Yeah. Overall, they're both <laughs> trash people. <laughs> Tony and Karma. I mean, Karma hasn't really done anything yet, but yeah. she's thinking about it. <laughs> You're not. No, Jesus. A couple of weeks ago, me and some friends, we were doing speed. We did kind of a lot of it for a while. You what? It was just between homework and SATs and just the general pressure of life. We needed something to keep going. A crap will kill you. I know. Better slap the shit out of you. Where did you get it? <sighs> if I thought this was going to be a lecture, I never would have told you. Take a reality check. What do you think I'm going to say? Where did you get it? No way I'm telling you, especially after this reaction. But why did you tell me? You were honest with me today. I won't be doing it again. It got too scary. It's just right under my nose. I think you'd know. No, Dad. I won't. Well, I'm glad you told me. In spite of everything. I'm glad I did, too. I'm glad we have that kind of relationship. Yo! What do you got? Wet shoes! Hey, you chose this life. You don't want to work in a rain trap for the fucking Yankees. The car is registered to Frederick Peters. 38 Washington Street, Waterville, Maine. It's off Route 201. I looked it up. Frederick Peters. Fabian Petrullio. Good match, huh? I guess. I don't know. T, what are you going to do? I don't know. Got men out here. Jesus. Fucking nightmare. You want to fly up and take care of it? Uh, you're a good kid. You stay put. Let the call pussy or poorly. What? They can do it, but I can't? Don't be so sensitive. They had a friend, Jimmy, die in prison on account of this scumbag. All right, I'll let him know. Fuck, I gotta do my homework and positively ID this guy. I thought you said it was him. I haven't seen him in 12 years. I don't know. I gotta make sure. All right, look, I'll call you around midnight. Sit tight. Hello? Hello. I'm calling for Tony Soprano. Cajun stuffed olives? Who can I say is calling? This is Dr. Milsey, his nurse. No, is... Is this Mrs. Soprano? Uh, that's right. And you are again? Jennifer Melsey, Dr. Melsey. Jennifer. Lovely name. So he's not home. Could I impose on you to, uh, to tell him that I need to reschedule Monday's appointment? I'm down with the flu. Does he have your number, Jennifer? Let me give it to you just in case. I lost my pencil up his ass. I'll tell him you called. Why does he have to lie? Why couldn't he tell me his therapist is a woman? What is he hiding? Maybe he did tell you and you didn't hear him clearly. Oh, please. He's your friend. Why wouldn't he tell me his therapist is a woman unless he's screwing her? Carmela, please. And I thought he was changing. It's because of this very reaction. The fucking freak show in his It's because of that very reaction why he didn't tell you. Doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right, but because he knows you would react like this. That's why he didn't tell you. Because I was wondering the same thing. Why didn't he, Why does he keep referring to her as a he? I was wondering the same thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just putting something away. But this is what I'm talking about. See, when you know a woman, a lot of times you don't tell them shit for their own good. Because you know how they're going to react. Oh, you couldn't pick a male therapist? You get what I'm saying? Like, he knows this is reaction. Like, if he told you, you think she would have been calm and be like, oh, you're getting help. It's not a big deal. She would have made sure she go check that woman out. Make sure she's good. She, uh, I mean, it creates a lot more problems, don't get me wrong, if she finds out. This is the very reason why you didn't tell her, man. Because it is what it is. Ted, Carmella, now, I'm sure you're wrong about them. Therapy is a start. It's a good start. But yes, it, it, it doesn't fix the soul. He's going to need help from other sources to repair that. 
Well, then you talk to him. You help him. But, well, there you go. I mean, w will he listen? I mean, he must be a very unhappy man. He's unhappy. Sleep is my number one... Ah, shit. Why go into it? Did he confirm? Hey, Fred. Hey, thank you. What do you say? You gonna give, you give me away any of that homemade cheese this year? Oh, what they get for cream, I don't know. Listen, Tank, anybody been looking for me or asking any questions about me? Big guy. New York sounding. Is there a problem? Nah, nah. Nah, dipshit hit me with his boat while I was tubing on Caribou Lake. <laughs> well, Claims it was my fault. Well, if he shows up, you want me to give you a call? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Do that, thanks. He paranoid as hell right now. <laughs> that boy out here running around with the blinky because he like, I don't know what's going on. Did Tony confirm though? He didn't get a good look at him. Ah, oh, damn. No one was asking for you, Fred. All right, do this thing. Probably gonna see his daughter. He's gonna see Meadow, because Meadow is there. I wonder, he would know Meadow? Would he know Meadow, though? I don't know. What happened? Hello, rat. So he just sees President Reagan uh, a bust and Damn. Please leave me. Which movie is this again? I can't handle it. Or show. What is it? Yo, father, I'm a terrible person. Oh, no. You're huh? a wonderful woman. It's been building in me. I need to get it out. There's so much in me. I, I, I want to... I want to... Carmela, if I can help, please. How long has it been since you last confessed? Uh, uh, I, uh... If you like, I can do this with you. You mean right here, Father, now? The whole world is God's house. He, he hears and sees everything. Mm. 
he hears and sees everything. <laughs> oh, so he's putting his... This is so weird. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been four weeks since my last confession. What am I talking about? The whole... That's a lie. I haven't <laughs> truly confessed in 20 years. Go on. The whole purpose of this thinking? confession thing is to not know who's on the other what side of I? the... <laughs> the thing. But what is easy? But okay. Allowing what I know is evil in my house. Allowing my children, oh my god, my sweet children, to be a part of it. Because I wanted things for them. I wanted a better life, good schools. I wanted this house. Wanted money in my hands, money to buy anything I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. This is not good. <laughs> my husband. I think he has committed horrible acts. I think he has. Well, you know all about him, Father Phil. But I'm the same. I've, I've said nothing. I've done nothing about it. What does I he got know? A bad feeling. Yeah. It's just a matter of time before God compensates me with outrage for my sins. Why do you have that with you? Unfortunately, I had to say mass for someone in intensive care. Just walks around with a communion kit. <laughs> to receive thee, but just say the word, and I will be healed. The hell is that? Holy water? What? <laughs> Oh god, not not feeding her. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is so sexual, bro. This is the most sexual communion I've ever seen ever, bro. Like why are they making this scene so intimate? <laughs> Why did he just gulp all of that down like that? <laughs> this man is probably drunk. <laughs> I don't know, but this it's got to be the weirdest communion ever. We go to a friend's house. Oh. Oh. Y'all are way too close. Bruh, stop. Oh. He needs to I... vomit. Oh. <laughs> you alright? Drank too damn much, you dummy. Father Phil? Are you alright? Drunk. Hi, 
right, I'll pick you up in a little while. Do not come dead. Aren't you coming in? No, I left my watch at the motel. I'll catch up to you later. Grab me a student paper. Should have some coffee. Last night. Yep. We, we didn't do anything out of line. There's nothing to apologize about. Right. That's right. Well, I should get dressed. Get going. Anthony Jr. will be home soon. Oh my God. My car's been out there all night in plain sight. If we didn't do anything wrong, we didn't do anything wrong. Is there a commandment against eating booty? It's okay. Take a shower, get dressed. Don't forget your uh, sacrament kit, whatever. I'm home! Carmelo. I don't know where to begin. It's not that I don't have desire for you in my heart. My own father, please. But last night was one of the most difficult tests from God ever for me. What are you talking about with friends? What's that look about? What, I look some way? I was just thinking about when we watched Casablanca last week. My new print is great, huh? You know, when Bogey says, of all the lousy gin joints in the world, why'd you have to pick mine? Of all the Fanuc priests in the world, why did I have to get the one who's straight? Mella. <laughs> Come on, it's a joke. All right, what do you want, a cookie? <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs>
Hey, what is this? Don't make me laugh. Oh. You pimp. You fuck. <laughs> Teddy, there must be something we could do. It's Tony. It's Tony, you fuck. You know how much trouble you're in now? You took an oath, and you broke it. I could have killed you last night outside the motel. Your daughter was drunk, remember? I was there in the parking lot. I had a gun, but I didn't do it. Because of her, I told myself, it's just a coincidence. Taking this little girl to college. You know, one thing about us wise guys, the hustle never ends. You shot me at that motel, your life would have been flushed on a piece of do. Please, honey, I'm begging. <coughs> Jimmy says hello from hell, you fuck. Yo, Tony ain't playing no games, bro. <laughs> Yo, to the motel they didn't have the watch so i went over to the restaurant they was closed and i had to wait for them to open the restaurant had your watch yeah i took it off of the bathroom when i was washing my hands you ready it'll be late for boating <laughs> yo she's probably gonna see the news i was like hmm <laughs> God, this girl has a lot of questions, oh, uh, bro. Jeez. The restaurant. I tried the back door. There were puddles. It was dumb, I know. Your hand is bleeding. Dad, where did you go? You saw that man, didn't you? I cut it on the screen door. What man? Man, you said you didn't know? <laughs> up, what do you think happened? I don't know. You got in a fight? You don't know. You're making a big deal out of this, and you don't know. You were on the payphone again last night at one o'clock in the morning. I was in the. Payphone God, what are you, an investigative journalist? Excuse me, Miss Cuervo, an a hole. <laughs> you can't be trusted to remember what happened last night because you were seeing pink elephants. I warned you not to drink. Dad, you're being honest with me, right? Pretty soon here, you're gonna start hurting my feelings. That's <laughs> right. We do or we don't. Takes two to tango. Dad. What? You tell me you get to the. <laughs> tell me you got to the speed, baby. my paper I forgot you forgot well here they are the two ivy leaguers Mwah. how was it you just want something to eat oh good i gotta call hunter gee she spared me no boring detail i'll be back i'm beat what new england it's so gorgeous Still sound a little nasal, but you look better. Any cold past? Uh, there was some ziti, but it all got eaten. The whole tray from last Sunday? My senior jughead was here. If you are referring to Father in Tin Foley, <laughs> yes, he was. He spent the night here. Yeah, right. Okay. The priest spent the night here. What happened? Nothing. Where was Anthony? He was uh, sleeping over at Jason's. The priest spent the night here. Nothing happened. And you're telling me this because? You might hear something. Take it the wrong way. His car was out front all night. You know what? 
This is too fucked up for me even to think about. <laughs> hey, she's being honest though. What'd you guys do for twelve hours? Play. Uh, I f with that. Made that pope. He gave me communion. Oh, I bet he gave you communion. Excuse <laughs> me. Come on, the guy spends the night here with you, and all he does is slip you a wafer. It's verging on sacrilege. Oh, I didn't mean to verge. Well, you think I'm lying? I don't know, but it, the whole thing sounds. Would I have told you about it voluntarily if there'd been anything to be ashamed of? Do I look like the friggin' Thornbird over here? He's a fan. That's it. Because <laughs> otherwise, I got a question what I'm hearing here. I would question oh, it too. No. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I would have been like, mm? <laughs> "That's all right." Oh, by the way, your therapist called. Even though it's a technicality, you know what I'm saying? It's a technicality. Um, I just thought you'd think it was weird if I saw a woman psychiatrist. That's all. <laughs> oh, come on. It's no therapy. That's all. We just talk. <laughs> precious. The precious. I like Carmela, though. I like Carmela. Like, I, I like what she represents in the show. I like it a lot. It's just um with the whole situation with her and the priest, I think she allows herself. She puts herself in the position for things to get messy with her and with her and the priest when she doesn't have to. It's a technicality. As I said, it's a technicality that what happened to him. He was too drunk, he was throwing up. It wasn't really res like he resisted it and he passed the test as he called it. It's really that, you know what I'm saying? He messed. <laughs> he that happened, and they didn't get to fool around. So I'm not gonna fall for the trick. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for the trick. Anyways, let's get to the review. All right, guys. So we got episode five in the books. Man, that was a good episode. Even though it was more surrounding Tony chasing this this rat from, you know, back in the day. He ratted out people how many years ago and was under witness protection this entire time. And it just so happens that Tony is in that part of town uh, in his college. Um, they're visiting colleges for his daughter. Um, you know, um, there was one thing that really ticked me off in this episode was the amount of questions that Meadow kept asking. And I don't believe that any kid should ever be able to question their mother or father like that. Like the more you allow stuff like that to happen is the more, you know, kids don't understand what their boundaries are. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not that I don't want to be honest with you is the fact that the matter is that it's not your business. So it don't matter where I was. It don't matter what I went out to do. It don't matter what I, you get what I'm saying? It's just no concern of yours. I don't answer to you. I protect you. You don't protect me. You don't need to know where I go and all of this other stuff. Like the amount of questions she was asking because, oh, we have an honest relationship. I'm not saying you can't be honest with your kids. What I'm trying to say is that there are certain things it's on a need to know basis. You don't need to know. So instead of me saying oh i gotta tell you all the truths because you ask questions is stupid <laughs> okay it is stupid and let me tell you this from a person who grew up asking a lot of questions like that with my mom and mom and dad my dad didn't tolerate that shit whatsoever my mom maybe some of the questions she would answer but for the most part it was like stay out of grown folks business you get what i'm saying because I used to be like that. And when I got older, I understood why it's like that. And why parents got to tell you, stay out of grown folks business. Because it just doesn't concern you. You don't need to know. You're just being nosy. Stay out of it. And I believe that kids needs to be kids and adults needs to be adults. Not everything that I do, you need to know about. You get what I'm trying to say? Asking me all of these damn questions. Like, chill. You're a child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
I take care of you. you it's not the other way around. You don't need to know my comings and goings, okay? So that part of it kind of ticked me off a little bit with Meadow. Um, she's a good kid, don't get me wrong, but a kid needs to pay, stay in a kid's place. You get what I'm saying and understand? Like, there are certain things that can be devastating to, to children if they, find, if they find out. They start prejudging you, start treating you differently, start cussing you out and misbehaving and rebelling and all of this other stuff. And that's the reason why I think that most things need to be on a need-to-know basis. If they need to know, you can tell them. You get what I'm saying? Um, but for the most part, I think there's a lot of things that parents just doesn't need to tell their kids even though they want to know that doesn't mean you have to tell them you get what i'm saying and i'm not going to tell you things i'm not going to tell my child things just because i want to be all buddy buddy with them no 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 <laughs> you get what i'm saying it doesn't work like that so the situation that happened between um father whatever his name um and carmella as I said, it's the technicality why it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? She felt some sort of way. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he was about to, they were about to kiss and he had the, the bubble guts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had the bubble guts. He, he, you know, I guess he felt nauseous or whatever. But that's just because of all the wine he was drinking since he got there and the ZD as well. So I know that, you know, situations like that can happen and women feel kind of humiliated because they feel like, it's towards them but it's really not it had nothing to do with them I, I think she felt some sort of weight you know in the morning or whatever um but i'm but as i said carmela is one of my she's one of my favorite characters in the show and she has a right to be upset with tony she, because she knows that he cheats that is not a secret to her she knows that he cheats you know what i'm saying and tony says they don't mean nothing you know what i'm saying um she could divorce him if he wants, but there's plenty of women that understands in situations like that, that they, you know what I'm saying? Like they can't, not necessarily that they can't do better, but it's a matter of if I leave, if I leave now, what am I going to get? In today's day and age, women are just like, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, divorce, 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 divorce. You know what I'm saying? Cheating is unforgivable unfor in in my eyes but that's just me that's just my personal opinion about cheating you know what i'm saying but for some people it's just it's not it's not a deal breaker so that to each his own but for the most part women say they want these traditional men that does traditional things but then they're just like oh you gotta make you know three hundred thousand dollars a year five hundred thousand dollars a year but guess what? Those men are entitled to, to exercise their options as well. Like, why would I want you? You got three kids. You get what I'm saying? And and I could get a 20 year old. Why would I? I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> just facts. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes on to when I see stuff like this portrayed in any type of TV show, and this is like early 2000, late 90s. So. Um, the way how I look at it and the way how I see it is that Carmelo is stuck between a rock and a hard place because she wants to have the good life. You get what I'm saying? She wants the good life. So she's got to kind of sit in that marriage to enjoy that, that life. Also, you know what I'm saying? She's even, she knows what her, what, what her husband does. She knows it. You get what I'm saying? She knows it. Um, so that's another thing too. She, you know, old ladies can probably can't leave because they know about mob activities. So she'll probably get whacked if she decides to divorce. So she has to kind of stay in that marriage. You know what I'm saying? So she's kind of stuck between a, a rock and a hard place in, in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tony didn't even really seem like he was upset that much you know what i'm saying about the whole entire thing he's like oh so he must be gay <laughs> you know what i'm saying because I, I i don't think tony would be super upset i think he would probably kill the priest <laughs> or beat him up or something but at the same time i don't think he would be angry at carmella you know what i'm saying I, I don't know i don't know we're only five episodes in i can't get this man psyche down yet but 
we'll get there for sure. But anyways, guys, um, the, the, the episode was very focused on these two characters, Tony and his wife, what he, you know, what she was doing while he was out of town and what he was doing while he was out of town. You know what I'm saying? So he killed the rat. Pretty sure they're going to address that. He's going to tell everybody, Hey, the rat is dead. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what I'm saying? Um, get, I'm catching the lingo. <laughs> Catch it. I'm catching the lingo. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. I know probably some of you guys are not going to agree with a lot that I said here today, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I don't care. That's my opinion on it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And some people feel like parenting should be, it should be very open and understanding. <laughs> you know, you know how they are. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Uh, when we talk about it, it was like, hey, you know, most black kids, they grow up um, understanding certain things, the relationship to keep that parental oversight over your kids, you know. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's missing from parenting today. Like every parent wants to be their kid's friend. They got to, oh, you ask questions, so they got to be answered. Mm, no, <laughs> I'm out. Like the video, comment. I'll catch you guys later, man.